Well, I'm back up at the girlfriend's homestead today. We have a few things to do. I need to get a bunch of wood split for making my maple syrup. I've been out here last week cutting wood. And then she also has to, uh, she also has to uh, get a shelter made for her new herd of she, goat she got. And this is Orson. I think you guys met him in a few other videos. Come here, Orson. Come say hi. There you go. And they just got a new, another guardian livestock dog, little pup. I'm not sure what they've named her. I think Priya was the name, but I figured Cotton Ball would be better. I just met her two minutes ago. Super happy. And here's the other goats. By now you've probably met the goats because I made another video a little bit ago of us picking them up. And I think she's gonna be building the shelter just on the other side of the um, drive shed there. But in the meantime, let's go get the splitter and then we'll haul it over to where I need to split wood. I should just leave it over by the sugar shack, the splitter, so I don't have to haul it every time I come out because it's pretty heavy. So let's get it up and out. Ugh. I'll have to move the four wheeler, I guess, to pull it out. So we'll get the four wheeler going and pull it out and then get the splitter pulled out as well. Okay, time to haul this beast over. Let's fill it up with a bit of gas. It's actually easier pushing it than when I was dragging it. Sort of the camera angle's a bit off. The camera's slipping here on the front. Oh. They're shaking it up. Hi, Orson. I don't really have that far to go, really. Feels like it's far. Okay, I'm out of breath. So here's the wood. I'll try splitting some of it. That's the pine I was cutting the other day. This is stuff the neighbor brought since he's an arborist. We'll head back. I'm gonna take the wheelbarrow back towards the sugar shack as well, as I need to haul wood. Back of it. So the neighbor has lent us his four-wheeler as well with his uh, homemade trailer, which is pretty sweet. That's what we've been using to haul the wood back from the forest in. And I'm going to use it right now, just so after I've got split, I can just drive from here to the sugar shack and put it back. And we've got Taco. He's hanging on the four-wheeler. Can you say hello, everybody? There you go. Okay, so I'll show you some of the wood quickly too that we've been stacking last week when I was here for a few days. This is a little dark in here, but here we go. This is the start of the wood stacking. I'm not sure how much I'll actually need because this is the first year with this setup with my new evaporator here. But I've got the, my new one and my old one, so I'll to be tag teaming it. And so I'm hoping to get these six rows of wood stacked up pretty high so that I don't run out. Worst case scenario, we have more wood over on this side as well that the, was already stacked from when she bought the place. So there's another good stack there. This is all maple. And there's this maple here I could probably do as well. So we'll take you over there and we'll go get it started. All right, so I've got my chainsaw hat with me because I need air protection because this thing is loud. So we're just gonna get this thing fired up here. Might be take a few pulls because it's pretty cold. Leave that choke for a bit longer than that, I guess. Okay, here we go.
for the evaporator. I'm doing this one no smaller than I normally would for the boiler because it's a smaller spot I need to put wood in. And this uh, spitters backwards the uh, handle when you push it forward, it goes reverse, and when you push it backwards, it goes forward. So it's kind of uh, frustrating, but that's okay. Rotted inside. I don't know why I'm standing down. Okay, so once I get how much done, I'll show you guys the uh, next step. Some wood falling off there, that's all right. Okay, we'll get this set up and uh, start off loading. So, I've got my wheelbarrow here too, so that I don't have to uh, come back and forth so much. Just load it up and stack it. Ideally, what I, we might try to do for next year is build a door in the back so it's easier. We can not have to do so many steps going back and forth with the wood. And this is where it comes in handy when you have two people. So someone keeps splitting and someone can stack. Just makes it go a little quicker. And it feels like these tires are, yep, these tires are flat. I might have to go pump the tires up because this is going to be ridiculous. Okay, I got the first bit loaded. I'm going to get that tire pumped up and then go work on the next load. Should be pretty quick. Should have most of this done. Well, at least a good stack and a half done okay, today. The tires blown up. That should make things way easier now and quicker. So I've got a mix of softwood and hardwood. There's some pine here. Ideally, pine's not the best to be using because it's not hardwood. But I like using it sometimes. Stick it in, it's just a nice, quick, fast heat just to get the boil going nicely. Okay, sounds like I'm being summoned to go see the new dog. I'm coming, Ainsley. Okay, let's go check out Priya. Ainsley's training her. She's got her on the leash. What you doing with the Priya? Are you training her? Is she taking you for a walk? No? Looks like she's taking you for a walk. Okay, I have to get back, get this wood done, and then uh, I'll show you what the wood pile looks like in a few more trips. What are you building today? Goat shelter. How come you're texting them when you should be uh, working? Asking about supplies. Oh. We're gonna go take a look at what we just did. Well, I've been splitting wood. I've come over, actually stopped splitting wood. I've come over to uh, help put up some goat shelters. So they have somewhere to hang out when it's snowy and cold. So she's got these pallets. I think from the local, you got these from the hardware store, didn't you? Or yeah, somewhere. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, so these ones are great because they came with the plywood on already. So it's gonna be less work doing that. That'll be for the roof. So we'll see how that goes. We may have to build them, about, build them out a bit farther. Farther than that, it's come along. So I'll let her finish that while I go spit more wood for maple syrup and see the progress in a bit. Okay, we made good progress this morning. We got a lot stacked up here. Two rows. And Ainsley's been stacking the little stuff. Good job, you're a great helper. And putting some kindling there. So... 
I'm gonna go for a quick lunch and then come back and finish this off and go pick more up. Two good helpers here. You're the best homesteader in the world, aren't you? Fist bump. Boom. Nice work. Another load. So Rick said that's probably like half a quart and this it holds, eh? So what do you exactly It holds a lot. But yeah. But yeah, so there you go. We'll have most of this stocked up by the end of the day, hopefully. All right, so we got the goat uh, shelter down here the other day. I just want to show you guys what it looked like here. Goats uh, finally persuaded them to come over with some hay, but it worked out well. It's uh, just some pallets. Everything was pretty much free. And then we've got the metal roofing. And we're gonna find a, try to find some blinds here, like the ones you would find in the restaurant industry for fridges and stuff. So that just keeps them sheltered a bit more. And they're happily eating away. They look pretty hungry, so I just go one in there. It's pretty cold today, so I think they're trying to stay warm. And I'll show you guys the wood as well that I've got mostly, well not mostly done, but I got a lot more done for the sugar shack. So we'll head on over there quickly and check it out. All right, so, oh, sorry, it's a little dark to see me here. There we go. Okay, so we got quite a bit done for the wood. Still have a ways to go. I want to bring out at least another stack of wood here for the maple syrup, because I'm not sure how much I'm going to go through. And Priya, she escaped her little pen, so she wants some attention, but uh, hopefully we can get some more of this done in the next few days. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I want to get my taps or my lines up anyways first before uh, the snow hits. Otherwise, it's going to be too hard to uh, chomp through the woods with the deep snow.